Metformin has been prescribed to over 120 million people worldwide to treat diabetes. This widespread use has led to unexpected discoveries that benefit the fight against cancer. For example, one study found that people taking metformin reduced their chance of developing any type of cancer by up to 88%. Another study that included over 200,000 people found that patients who used metformin had significantly lower cancer mortality. According to two decades of published data, it has been documented that metformin can reduce the likelihood of cancer incidence, reduce the mortality of cancers, increase the effectiveness of radiotherapy and chemotherapy, reduce the tumor movement and malignity, reduce the likelihood of relapse. In this video, we will review the recognized anti-cancer capabilities of metformin, safety track record in patients, and the role it can play to help starve cancer of needed fuel sources. Let's dive in. Hello, I am Olina Ivanova, the Medical Director of Personalized Medicine. Metformin is considered the go-to medication for treating patients with type 2 diabetes. Its proven effectiveness and excellent safety track record make metformin one of the most important drugs available. However, research has shown that metformin can also have a role beyond diabetes. Studies have reported promising results treating obesity, addressing metabolic abnormalities, anti-aging application, providing neuroprotection, as well as preventing and treating cancer. Of particular note is the promising cancer prevention and treatment capabilities of metformin. Over 6,000 medical articles include information on metformin's anti-cancer capabilities. Since metformin has been used by over 120 million people worldwide, researchers have been able to compare cancer incidence and outcomes of patients that use metformin versus non-users. The evidence from these massive studies has shown a dramatic anti-cancer benefit. For example, five studies that included a total of 860,000 individuals reported that metformin use caused between a 26 to 88% reduction in death from cancer. Another study that included 7,700 patients reported metformin use increased overall survival in stage 4 cancer patients. Additionally, many studies show that metformin can reduce cancer recurrence for many disease types. After realizing that this medication can play a role in preventing cancer, treating the disease, and avoiding cancer relapse, researchers quickly assembled to uncover the specific anti-cancer mechanisms of action for metformin. They found that metformin has numerous anti-cancer activities. Let's review several compelling examples. The mitochondria is the power plant of cells. This is where cancer cells convert nutrients, primarily glucose, into energy that it uses to fuel growth and also release reactive oxygen species that play a critical role in cancer cell migration and invasion. When metformin accumulates in the cancer cell mitochondria, it disrupts the cell's ability to produce energy and release ROS. The endoplasmic reticulum is a component of normal and cancer cells that serves as the transportation system of cells. Metformin has been shown to stress the endoplasmic reticulum system in multiple cancer types. Prolonged ER stress leads to cancer cell death. It is worth noting that combining carbohydrate restriction with metformin appears to improve these anti-cancer capabilities. Cancer cells often develop hypersensitive insulin receptors. This cellular alteration is used to fuel cancer growth and spread especially during periods when high levels of insulin are circulating. Metformin has the ability to significantly lower insulin levels, preventing cancer from benefiting from this hormone. The immune system has an important role in beating cancer. The immune system is designed to identify cancer as a foreign cell that does not belong in the body, then respond by sending special white blood cells called T-cells to attack and destroy cancer cells. 
Cancer defends against this attack by developing a variety of mechanisms that suppress the capability of T cells. Many studies show metformin, metformin helps increase T cell anti-tumor activity and effectiveness. Both normal and cancer cells go through a process called the cell cycle to multiply. Metformin has been shown to disrupt the cancer cell, cell cycle, which can prevent cancer progression. Cancer uses specific enzymes to migrate and invade nearby normal cells. Multiple studies observed that metformin reduced critical enzymes used by cancer, thus inhibiting growth. Again, restricting carbohydrates from the diet while taking metformin can boost this effect. The existence of cancer stem cells is a recent discovery. They were first identified in solid tumors in 2003. Cancer stem cells are believed to multiply indefinitely, are responsible for development of highly metastatic cells that spread to other parts of the body, are resistant to chemo and radiotherapy, and are thought to be responsible for cancer relapse after standard therapy-induced remission. Many clinicians in cancer treatment community believe this is where metformin can significantly reduce cancer relapse rates. Over 100 studies have identified dozens of potential mechanisms that enable metformin to preferentially kill cancer stem cells. Many of these anti-cancer qualities exist because metformin has demonstrated an ability to disrupt cancer's ability to use three critical resources, glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids. While it appears metformin can help cancer patients, it is not recommended as a monotherapy for cancer. It is suggested that metformin works best when incorporated into a therapy that uses other safe medications, supplements, and nutritional approaches that attack cancer from multiple angles. In the description, you will find a link to another video that describes how metabolic cancer therapies use metformin and other components in an effort to starve cancer cells of resources. A tremendous body of evidence shows that metformin can potentially play a role in cancer attack plan. To recap, over the last 20 years, thousands of studies have shown that metformin can help fight cancer by disrupting cancer's ability to generate energy, trigger cancer cell apoptosis, reduce insulin-driven cancer growth, improve the immune system's anti-cancer capability, interrupt the cancer cell cycle, thus preventing multiplication, inhibit enzymes that permit cancer to metastasize, and kill cancer stem cells to reduce disease recurrence. Furthermore, the use of metformin by over 100 million people has demonstrated that it is safe to take alongside standard cancer treatments like chemo, radiation, and immunotherapy. Metformin is an off-patent drug. This makes it low cost and widely available. However, since it is not patentable, there is no financial incentive for pharmaceutical company to seek FDA approval as a cancer treatment. Patients will need to work with the licensed medical provider to obtain a prescription and gain monitored use. There is a link in the video description for those interested in seeking a consultation to incorporate metformin into their treatment. As always, check out the description to find links to the referenced articles and other resources that could be helpful. We hope you found this information useful. If so, please like the video and choose to share it with others that can benefit. We thank you for watching our video and we wish you the best health. Stay strong and informed.